Welcome back friends, this is Fraser from FTR Studio. In this tutorial, we'll be creating the base mesh for a short hair or any other hair you want to create to create the underlining over the scalp. So I'll be creating the base mesh for this kind of a short hair in the tutorial series. The two references I have to follow along. For that, select the head or the scalp mesh and turn the make live button on. Once it is made live, it is not selectable. Now we select the quadro tool. So you can see the modeling toolkit on the menu bar on top. Scroll down to the quadro tool. Once the quadro tool is selected, you can click on the mesh to create points or vertices which will be creating the cords or the cordilaterals. So you need to create at least four points to form one cordillate. So first I'll make the points along the edges from the front. Once that is done, I can create the cordillaterals by creating two more points by hovering over that space and clicking on the shift button with the left click when it is highlighted as blue to create the polygon as you can see over here. Going around the ears to the back. You can add subdivisions or edges when you hover over the surface of the plane to create the edge too. I am creating a relatively lower poly, a mid-level poly. You can use this method for retopology of any kind of model, whether it's organic or inorganic, using the quadro tool. Once you are done creating the basic geometry head mesh and you are happy with it, you can opt out of the quadra tool simply by hitting enter or Q. Once that's done, if you need you can do some cleaning up, smoothing the edges. I have used the edit edge flow for smoothing out the edges. You can also tweak a few vertices uh, to avoid penetration. Once you are happy with the base mesh, it's now time to extrude it to give it thickness. So I have extruded it inwards and then given one division and deleted the inner faces so I don't have a double sided mesh. This reduces the poly count. You can also turn off the make live button to make the mesh of the head or the scalp editable. You can do more with the base like creating the, the pleats is running along the middle. Okay, the seam of the hair or hairline is from the middle of the hair.
for this style as you creating the template or a mesh or uh, underlining the bangs or the front hairs for this hairstyle so for that simply i will extrude this front portion and give it some edges to make it nice and round Also, this is the base mesh. It should also have a clean topology. So, don't forget to clean up the topology in all the basic using the basic tools and techniques. I will be later on deleting this front portion of the band because I'll be creating mesh hairs on top of it. This is just for creating a reference for the position and for the surface to create a mesh on. So friends, I hope you have learned how to create the base mesh for the head in Maya using this core draw tool. And uh, if you need to create any different type of base mesh, let me know for male or female. The main hair will be created in the next tutorial onwards, where I'll be showing you how to use sweep mesh as shown in the previous video to fill the head with the short hair style in the reference. So I hope you have learned something from this tutorial and if you have, when you come till here, please give a thumbs up, like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. So friends, see you in the next tutorial where I will be creating the hair meshes using the sweet mesh. Till then, take care. Bye bye.